Welcome back to episode 19, today's preview, the Group 3 St. Ledger Final at Warrigal today. So let's get into it. Race 1 to open up the card, and I'm looking at box 1 here, looks to be improving with every run he gets, and he'll look to get out in front early and really control this race. So with race 1, I'm going to with box 1, um, I think he'll start strong and really power to the line. Race 2, I'm going with box 1 again, De Sent uh, was very good on debut at Bendigo over the 500. Um, he should get out in front early and um, will run out the race really strongly. Uh, flying surprise, he's he'll be really good through the middle stage of the race, but I just think he'll find too much bother early on. So for race 2, I'm going with box 1 in Descent. Race 3, I'm going with box 7, uh, Camulus. Uh, looks to get out well and will look to reel in uh, rumour as fact in the later stages. So in race 3, I'm going with box 7, Camulus, who who are uh, really um, rein in on uh, rumour as a fact in the later stages of the race. So for race 3, I'm going with box 7, Camulus. Race 4, this race is pretty clear for me and I'm going with Aussie Secret from box 6. A vacant box to his inside, a vacant box to his outside and will give him plenty of room early on. So... He should get out in front early and just really, really control this race. So for race four, I'm going with box six, uh, Aussie Secret. Race five, it's a stayers sort of race. And I'm going with box seven here in Lakeview Lola. Um, we'll have no problems running out this race. Um, we'll have the early pace over Sandra's sticker. And I thought Lakeview Lola wasn't uh, to be disheartened in her uh, fireball heat. So... I think she, when she matures, she'll get even better. Um, but I think she'll get the win here tonight. So for race five, I'm going with box seven, Lakeview Lola over Sandra Sticker, who I think might just start too slow. Uh, will be strong in the later stages, but I just think starts uh, too slow. So for race five, I'm going with box seven, Lakeview Lola. Race six, this is a very even field. And I'm going with box four here, Derry Express was very good last week. Um, first time at Warrigal over the distance, so he'll get out well, um, he'll run the race out strongly. I also thought Blue Tiger, he was uh, one to have in your exotics, um, he, he was very good last week, and he'll if he starts, he'll be up there, so um, I think at the odds he is, I think he's one to have in your exotics, so I've got uh, Derry Express on top from box four, and Blue Tiger in your exotics from box six, so race six of box four. Race seven, you got the young star rebellious from in box four, but I just can't go past Mapunga reject from box one. His record is unbelievable. Um, he's won half of his career wins from box one, um, and he will be the main danger here. So for race seven, I'm going with uh, Mapunga reject here over rebellious. Race eight is the group three Saint Ledger final, and I'm going with box eight here, Aston Barsnet. I think Quara Bale makes the race for him. Um, and if she can get out early and cart across, it will really make the race for Aston Farsnet. So he'll be looking good if he can just match the start with Quara Bale. He really runs out this race strongly and will be really strong late in the race. So I'm going with uh, Aston Farsnet in the final. Coblenz, I think he'll be hindered by Shimmer Classic early on. Um, it'll be a good race to see who wins to the first marker out of those two. Two are probably the best starters um, going around at the moment, so that will be good to see who wins to the first mark. But I'm going with Aston Fastnet to win the race. So for race eight, I've gone with box eight, Aston Fastnet. Race nine, I'm going with the box five, Chabika Oasis um, has been starting really well and musters up good pace after box rise. So um, he'll be looking to make it three in a row and uh, should get race nine. So for race nine, I've gone with box five. Uh, Chabika Oasis. Race 10 to round out the night, and I've gone with box four, Jetta's Gale. Um, was, looked really good at sale last time out. Um, will look to be the main danger again here, and um, should just run out the race the strongest. So for race 10, I'm going with box four, Jetta's Girl. Now on to his hand of the week, and it's probably no surprise, but it's Zach's entity. Um, he's had a couple, it, he's First two runs at Sandown, uh, first two runs in his career as well. So he, he ran 29-25 on debut at Sandown on Sunday and 
Look to be he'll look to be a very good stayer in the future. He only ran five twenty eight to the first mark, but that isn't the greatest beginning. But um, he was, looked really strong through the middle and late stages. So, and he was able to back it up uh, last uh, this Thursday um, with a twenty nine seventy and only ran second. And he had a first split of five thirty eight. So he'll definitely be one to watch. And I think uh, he has a lot of potential. And, He'll be definitely one that will probably go over the distance. So um, that's his hand of the week, Zach's entity, um, and he's definitely one to watch. So make sure you have him in your black book because he'll be that one to watch. That's it for this week's Heath Hound, the Saint Group 3 St. Ledger final preview.